Would you like to be able to verify without any doubt that a customer has not used their purchase order twice? In versions prior to 4.4, this could be checked in sales order entry. But now, with version 4.4, you have the option of checking for duplicate customer purchase order numbers in sales order entry, sales order history, accounts receivable invoice data entry, accounts receivable invoice history. You need to first configure that you do want to check for duplicate purchase order numbers. So in sales order, we'll go into setup, into sales order options. And on the Entry tab, you'll notice that the check for duplicate purchase order numbers has been expanded. And there's no longer just a check for duplicate purchase order numbers. Now, on the Entry tab in the lower left-hand corner, you see many things that you can check. So you need to identify the files that you would like to check for duplicate customer purchase order numbers. If you want to keep the functionality that is currently in the system prior to versions 4.4, you would check sales order entry. But with this new feature, you now have the ability to check sales order invoice data entry, sales order history, accounts receivable invoice data entry, and accounts receivable invoice history. So once we've got an indication of the different areas and different tasks that we want to check this in, then we can test it out. So in the main menu, on sales order. Let's go into sales order entry. And we'll create a new order. And I'll use my customer A to Z carpet supply. And they sent in, or I'm entering in, customer purchase order number 7890. Well, I can tell that immediately something's going on. And I get this message that the customer purchase order number already exists on one or more sales orders or invoices. In fact, the first place it looks is open orders. And if you've checked to look into history, it then looks there. I can either continue, which would then take me back to the data entry window, or I can look at the documents that, are, that this purchase order is using. So by clicking on the documents, I can see a list of entries that are already in the system using this purchase order number. And here we can see a number of them. So on sales order 179, sales order 186, in sales order history 179 and 186, I also see order 156. Now I can even drill down and look at these different items. So great, there's my 7890 and the appropriate lines going along with this. So should this sale, should this purchase order be used? And if so, I can go ahead and continue using this same purchase order number and complete the order with the appropriate lines that this order reflects. Now, if you want to, in addition, make sure that no duplicates are allowed, you can actually uh, do that in, in security. So there's new functionality in security and if we go into library master, into the main, into role maintenance, and I'll just select the role I have configured here, and go into the module options for sales order, you can see allow for duplicate customer purchase order numbers. So if I don't want to allow for duplicate purchase order numbers, I can go ahead and deselect this. Now, if I attempt to enter a sales order with that same purchase order number, and I continue, it clears out the customer purchase order number. So you can see you've got a couple of different ways that you can actually leverage this depending on your business rules. Now this is in the business object so that anything that uses the business object to populate sales order entry will come across this logic. Whether you're entering it manually like I have done or if you're using Visual Integrator to bring information in, or a third-party add-on. So for those of you who want to make sure that you're eliminating duplicate purchase orders, need a unique purchase order for the customer, which might be your 
business policy, this feature will help you control that.